Hey friends, May Flom here. We're in the studio at Craft with May, and guess what? Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own, take wood items and decorate them. Now the thing with this project is you've got a couple different ways to go about it. There's not a wrong answer. So this video is a tutorial in that I'm gonna show you how to do it, but it also isn't in that you're gonna see like bits and pieces of different ones. So you're gonna be able to see like different processes or different things that you might do. Bottom line is buttons, beads, metals, that kind of stuff, plus a wood or canvas or some other sturdy base, plus really good glue. Let's get into it. First up, let's look at some finished pieces. So here's one on canvas where I just took all the different buttons and things and glued them to the canvas. PPA, Perfect Paper Adhesive in Matte, is the only liquid adhesive I ever recommend and the only one I ever use, same as a sealant, just get that right out of the way. So here's another one where I painted the different layers, different colors, and then used those buttons in those colors. And I'm pointing this out because if you want a really simple, really orderly kind of a look, that's a really great way to achieve it, to paint it first. Here's kind of a hybrid. So I painted the whole thing white, and then I did a combination of really orderly laying down of beads. These are all John beads um, from a box they sent me, and orderly some places, and then really wild other places, but then glitter so that it's kind of a mix. And here's another one. This one took so long. Um, you can see I did a combination here. Now this is an actually paint, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that but this is layers and layers and layers and layers of beads. So that just gives you a couple of ideas. I have a couple more to show you. This is a triangle that I'm gonna do kind of as a tree, but I don't want it Christmassy. I'm painting it a really dark, like peacock blue kind of color. And this is all you're gonna do, is if you want to color the base first, you're going to paint or color with marker or whatever it is that you have, whatever it is you want to use. You're also going to let it completely dry. So there that one is dry. Let's <laughs> pretend we've kind of time warped there. Now I mentioned other mediums. So you could use, here's a Copic marker. I've used ink pads. I've used um, watercolors. I mean, you can use whatever you want. The difference in what you choose to use. Number one, what do you have on hand? Here I'm using an ink pad. Number two, do you want it to be a finish that's like really nice and finished? Or is it okay if it reacts with moisture, with the glue and bleeds and blends? That's something you're going to have to think about. Now here, I've just got the dried triangle and I'm just placing some buttons down. And you can see I'm just placing more buttons, more buttons, more buttons. I'm just making a single layer. This is an example where I want to keep the, so I'm not gonna paint over them. I'm gonna leave them the color they are. You're gonna think a little more about what you're placing where. Not too much though. On this first layer, try not to think about it because it's not actually gonna matter. Place whatever, wherever. If you're going to paint over it, you really don't have to think about it because you're gonna paint everything. Now here I'm getting some beads out and I'm starting a second layer on this. Um, beads, charms, metals, chains. I mean, what do you have? Look around and see what do you have that's small, buttons. There's lots of things that will work to layer. Now that tree piece, that's gonna take quite a bit of time to get going. These pieces I tend to like to work on small amounts of time over time. Now here what I'm working on, this is a concept I've been working on with these hearts and it's nowhere near ready, but I want to test something out before I go further. So if you were going to paint over them, that's right, gesso or white acrylic paint does not matter at all. You could also do black acrylic paint or another color, but you just paint on over it. Now I'm kind of painting over some of the marks I made on this canvas. I made it with a water soluble pen so that they will go away. While it's wet or while it's dry, you can add layers. My only thing for you here, for example, this is a very soupy pink liquid color that I just added on top of the white paint. Let it dry, walk away, come back, add more layers. Walk away, come back, add more layers. If you're doing the painting method, you can use any mediums. Again, you could use watercolors, you could use paints, markers, ink pads, whatever. 
But you're going to want to remember, are they reactive with water or not? Are they, are they going to react if I get this wet? But also remember that you can keep coloring it over. So this one you see me working on here and talking to myself, I have been working on since March. And I just hadn't been happy with it. I haven't, you know, thought, oh, it needs more, it needs more, it needs more. That there that you see has like 20 layers of color on it because I just kept changing my mind. And finally, I've decided, you know what, this is, I'm good with it here now. So to finish it off, this is something that applies both to if you were painting it like I have here, or if you are not painting it, if you are using the original color. And one other option that I'll share right now is if you wanted to, you could also use a little sand, a little sanding block and sand some of the paint off to expose. You can do so many techniques, dry brush, I mean, whatever you want. You can add rhinestones, you can add anything, do anything. The idea here is get out that stash, use it, and do something that you're not afraid of, that you can just cut loose and party creatively. I hope you've enjoyed that video. There's, you can see a couple of them back there. There's got a couple different ones of these in here. There's some hanging on the wall, like the rainbow one is up there. And I just, you know what? It's a great way to use your stash. It's fun, it's easy, and you don't have to overthink this one. This can be one, especially if you're gonna paint over it, where you can just play and just go with it and see where it takes you. You can mix and match, you can keep adding, you can keep changing it. You can't mess this one up, okay? So if you try it, be sure to tag me. I'd love to see what you make. I'll see you next time.